David Swanson, Gillespie <laughs> Avenue. I have a petition with hundreds of names on it I'd like to present to you uh, asking for divestment from weapons and fossil fuels. And I have five copies of a draft resolution that would permit the city, uh, as is found in the recommendations section of the city treasurer's report, to act immediately on its general fund and to commit to acting in the near future on the retirement fund. So if appropriate, I'd like to present all of these to you. U.S. weapons companies arm three-quarters of the world's dictatorships and both sides of numerous wars. Without the U.S. government's support for fighters in Afghanistan, Syria, and elsewhere, there would be no al-Qaeda or ISIS. Previous weapons customers turned enemies have included Hussein, Gaddafi, and Assad. The United States creates its enemies. But now, over less than my lifetime, the United States has led the world in creating the worst enemy ever seen, an environment that will attack life on Earth with massive fires and droughts and floods for many centuries to come, even if we cease all planetary destruction this minute. A principal cause of the weaponized environment is the wars fought primarily for oil with which to further destroy our environment. Dick Cheney met with... ExxonMobil to plan the war on Iraq. Our city invests our hard-earned money in ExxonMobil. One of the craziest things is how the environmental collapse is being used as an excuse for yet more wars. But do you know what anyone who survives, what in best case scenarios is going to be several climate-caused holocausts, will find hardest to understand about us, the people who built their hell? It's our casualness. It's our calm complacency. It's our desire to carefully consider whether or not to do our bit to mitigate the destruction. Even the U.S. Congress is ready to halt the genocide it has been committing against the people of Yemen, but Charlottesville is pleased to go on funding Boeing. The world's nations are banning nuclear weapons, but Charlottesville is delighted to dump our money into Honeywell, and Boeing for that matter. Did the city of Charlottesville ask anyone in this room, if that's where we wanted our money. They didn't ask me. The cost of the extreme weather that's coming, including those, those storm-wrecked houses that little girl just told us about, will dwarf any possible difference in the income from investing in guns and oil versus investing in something less destructive. I'd like to ask everyone here to please stand up with me if you want this city to stop using our own money against us and to act now without delay. Now, now, now. now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Virginia, Virginia Rovnack. Good I'm evening. Virginia Rovnack. I live in Albemarle County. Thank you for uh, allowing me to speak. I also support uh, this petition the, to have the city divest from uh, weapons manufacturers and uh, fossil fuel producers. I want to point out that even though I live in the county, I have standing on this issue because my taxes go to the county and $15 million of county money goes to the city through revenue sharing. So I have standing on what the city does with its money. So I don't know if you know, but gun manufacturers send mil give millions of dollars to the National Rifle Association, the NRA. It's good for business. The NRA then gives money to legislators and uses all its power to influence legislators on uh, gun safety issues. I have seen this action in person. Uh, a year ago, January, I attended a meeting of the Virginia Senate Courts of Justice Committee, which heard 10 to 15 gun safety bills. And uh, the way it went, the, the bill would be read and an attractive young woman would come to the microphone and say, the NRA opposes this, and then she, she would sit down. There would be very brief discussion, and then they voted down all of them. Now, some of these were wide-ranging bills, like universal 
uh, background checks. One was very small and narrow, and it would have allowed the city of Charlottesville to ban weapons at certain at permitted events if it chose. And Councillor Galvin, you were there. You spoke for the bill. Um, but despite the fact, I mean, it boggles the mind. This was 15, five months after August 2017 that they would not allow Charlottesville uh, permission to protect against an armed invasion such as we had on August 12th. So uh, this, I would like the city to take one small step by divesting from gun manufacturers and diminish very slightly what I call this unholy flow of um, influence and money that uh, keeps us all from being uh, getting any <coughs> reasonable, any tiny gun safety laws. Thank you. Thank you.